Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome to another video. Um, this time I'd like to show you two of my experiments I did with uh, the molecular add-on that is currently um, talked about a lot in the Blender community. It actually has been around since quite a while. I'm not sure how long exactly, but it has been there since a few months. However, I just tested it again today and I had some pretty cool results, so I thought I would show you. Now, this here uh, is the first one, which is, I don't know what exactly it is, but it looks pretty cool. Like, it has a bit of a fluid, uh, fluidish behavior, and at the same time, you see these jelly parts that fall down at the end. I think it's pretty cool. The only thing that I think is a shame about the, the uh, that whole thing is that there is not really a good way to render it. If any of you knows a good way to do that, please let me know. I'd really love to know. Of course, I know that you could just um, you know create a sphere and make instances at, at every particle, but I'm not really happy with that. I'd love to have something like um, a mesh generation. And actually, so. Just real quick, uh, this is the second one. I tried to make it stick to the wall. So actually the wall also has particles on it, um, which m more or less make these particles stick to it, which also looks pretty cool. So about what I just said, I also uh, did some research and found um, an add-on that converts particles into meshes, but that's also just a solution that is based on uh, those hardy calls meter balls and it I wasn't really worried satisfied with it in both performance and quality yeah so if anyone could tell me how you solved that or how or generally your ideas about that I'd love to hear them other than that there is that's all I wanted to show you actually um, yeah hope to see you again next week